You watching Jamaica YouTube TV. So we get it exactly how we tell it. No fabrication, you got it? So just like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and little bless outside saying, and well, well, well. Wago and JY family, welcome back to the channel. Wanna know what if you do already? Hit the dislike button. If you don't want to hit the like button, because I realize that I don't know the part because when I say JY, I don't get rich if you don't hit the like button. So hit the dislike button and subscribe to the channel if you want. Now, this morning, I wake up to a video. And this video, trust me, it, it, it is very sad. I'm telling you, a robbery took place in a place called Goshen in St. Elizabeth. And me I tell you about three gunmen, three bed bug. Bed bug them, go in at the people them bar and them infestate the place. Them not just only infestate the place and leave, you know. Me I tell us some serious gun butting go on in the video, you know. John was time me sorry for the people them, you know. Cause me I look on him and say, yo, imagine you have a local business. You know, you work your honest bread. And alright, it is not right to rob. But since you know a bed bug and that in you know, blood and thing, I don't know say when I can rob. Just take on her, take and leave the people them no man. Yo, me I tell you say, yo, the people them the boy them have some long some long gun, you know. And uh, some serious, if they might use the gun, them, you know, man. And me, I tell you, so they might lick the people, them with you know. Oh my god, man, a long girl in the bar. The way the man, them D with the girl star, me, I tell you, so them jagger all by her hair, because the girl have long hair and thing. You know, them ladies, yeah. You know, you work a bar, your thing have up and thing. Me, I tell you, so trust me, man, it is very traumatizing. I'm going to show you the video. But this video have no audio. And another thing, I have to put an emoji over it or something to, you know, kind of um, not make YouTube catch up on this video because we don't want to go against them guidelines. But if you want to see the video without any form of um, emoji or any form of this guys over it, you know, just the raw video. I have my group and I always encourage it, but just in case, this group is a gruesome group. It's not for the weak. So if you can manage the group, click the link down below, man, and join the group. So I may do it and just share the things them when I can get it. Because I work a full-time job and I can send the video them one by one. And so I know, impatient, bad. Once you know, text me on the just feed me if I reply same time. So watch the video when we come back we are gonna talk some more. Well no can make out it I'm telling you now go as clear.
as usual yeah look for the official report but it not reach big media yet you know so when the things them go on we the bloggers we the content creators out here we get them first but why i'm glad so far them no dirt nobody but man nobody want to be in this type of situation this is very traumatizing just by watching the video yeah so as me say we are gonna pin the link for the group down in the comment section come over there and you can see the raw video all right and if you're from saint elizabeth and you know about this you know give me some information you know because it looks like i did on party did a go on okay if you notice a lot of patron um in the bar i don't know if you can see it good but after you watch the video still you can come back over here so and come comment and tell me what you understand from the video now as usual you know every day killing by the road and guess what are we at our own life because we, it's like we can't take time so a man get slapped way in a vehicle a collision and we know the road so <laughs> suspect held so here we are going now one man is now in police custody in connection with a vehicle a collision on Windward Road, Kingston 2, on Thursday, March 28, which resulted in the death of a pedestrian. The deceased has been identified as Terence Reddink of Nashwood Road, Kingston 2. Reports are that about 9.30 p.m., a motor vehicle that was traveling along Windward Road hit Reddink and he was crossing the street. Lawmen responded to the scene and Red Dink was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced. The driver of the motor vehicle was arrested by the police and is currently in custody as investigation into the incident continues. So in other news, man fatally can up as cops raid party. That, that is an illegal party in St. Mary firearm seize an unidentified man was fatally canned by the police during an operation at a party in Enfield St. Mary on Friday morning law enforcers also seized an illegal firearm with several rounds of ammunition following the incident preliminary reports are that sometimes after 1 a.m residents allegedly alerted the police about armed men who were observed at party in a section of the community known as riverside on the arrival of the police a man was seen at the event acting in a suspicious manner. Further reports are that the man attempted to pull a firearm but was caught up by the police. The other patrons were not harmed during the incident. Wow, good job officers, great job. The wounded man was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced. The Independent Commissioner of Investigation, Indicom, was notified of the incident and has since launched a probe. Indicom reported on Friday that a series of operations carried out by the police has resulted in the death of four persons in four separate incidents between March 26 and March 28. At the time, those incidents moved the number of fatal canning for March to 12 and 34 canning for the year up to March 28. No, so in the commerce, look here, man. The canning of the residents is going, is going up too high. At that in the commerce right now, so. I don't know, tell me what you think down in the comment section. So, by now, everybody's supposed to like the video, share the video. Who you dislike the video? If you don't want to like it, just go and dislike the video. Yeah, man, big up on yourself. So, come back again. Just want to ask a question as I sit in my car 
Um, so you need to renew your driver's license in Jamaica. Your driver's license expires. And what a task. Fill out the form. You then go online and you pay the fee. Then you have to go to the tax office. And there's a line outside the tax office that you have to stand up in. Most times in the sun. Now you've already paid the fee and you already pay out, fill out the form. Why the hell do I have to stand up in a the line? There should be another line that says fees paid online. So you go into that line and that takes you inside. Where you don't need to speak to anybody, you go to the department. Whether it's the driver's license department, the GCT department, the renewal of car license department. But no, you have to stand up in that line. That could take you an hour and you get inside the building finally. You have to stand up in another line. Because those people have to tell you whether you have the right documents. Then from there you go to another line. And that's where you wait, whether you sit or you stand. Doesn't that say something? Doesn't that tell you the system is not working? You want to collect more taxes and money. But you make it so hard. You ever wonder why people don't pay them ticket or don't go there and can't bother pay this like it? It's too hard. The system is too hard. If I have a driver's license, it has a record. If you got any tickets, if it's expired, how old you are, where you live, I have it already. I've had it for years. All I need is a new one. The date just needs to change. I don't know why we don't do it for 10 years. Why? Because you want more money. Well, just charge your money for 10 years. I don't need to come and harass myself. You go online, you fill out the form, you pay the fee. That means they know you paid the money. Money went somewhere. Nothing else to do. I don't need a new picture. Nothing has changed. My application says everything. What else do I need? Why do I need to come in again? All I need to come into is to collect my driver's license. And truth be told, I probably don't even need to come in. Pay a service. Tara or a courier service or to have it delivered to my location with a memo that says your item is going to be delivered today. Charge me for it if you have to. I don't need to come in. That relieves the line. It relieves the stress on the customer. It relieves the stress on the people in the tax office. It creates another income for somebody who can deliver it to me, which I don't mind getting. I'm not a genius. But it's not rocket science. So if you are the person that makes those decisions, either you're not working, you're sleeping, or someone needs to replace you. But this has not changed in... I got my license when I was 18. I'm almost 60. Hasn't changed. Nothing has changed. The same thing. Just the car look prettier. Just my run today. JY family, come on man, come on. You can't read so far and don't press the like button. Hit the bell icon to be notified. And this is the channel you need to subscribe to that you didn't know you need to subscribe to. Do the right thing man. Me love Jamaica, me now sell out. Them try clip we wings, somehow we can't fly out. But when we there, yard, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica, roast bread, fruit, and banana. Under the tree with a glass.